Hey guys, Kimberly here. And if you are like me and use Project Broadcast for your team communication, it is possible with cancellations starting back up, you're gonna have people who are in your Project Broadcast that you normally text every month that you need to take out. Now, if this is just onesie twosies, it's super easy just to go in and mark them as do not message. But if you have a large amount of people that you need to remove, I'm gonna show you a really quick and easy way to do this. I had asked this question over in the Project Broadcast Bootcamp group on Facebook, and Jake was kind enough to call me and walk me through this process. And I told him I was gonna shoot this video for you. And he said, go for it because it can get a little complicated. And there are some steps that you need to make sure you really slow down on. So I'm gonna jump over to Project Broadcast and show you what that looks like. So I'm gonna start this under the assumption that you already have your spreadsheet created. You have first name, last name, their phone number of the people who you do not want to message going forward. So what we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna first, we're gonna to wanna to import those people. So we're gonna come over to our menu and then import contacts. I'm gonna select my dummy file. And then we're going to choose the phone number and it should automatically pick up first and last name. Now the main thing here is under additional tags, you're gonna to wanna to create a tag. So I'm going to create, looks like I already have it. So February, 2021 cancellations, call it whatever you want. That's what I'm calling this one. Then we are going to save. Now because these people are already in your project broadcast, it's going to say that the contact has been updated. So now, they're in the system, they have that tag, we're gonna come over here to keywords and we're gonna create a new keyword. Now this keyword, you want it to be something that the normal team member or customer is not going to be texting you. So I'm gonna make mine say do not message group. We're gonna save that. Once you have this updated over on the right hand side, you can see that there's lots of different things you can do with this keyword. But the key here to this keyword is down here at the bottom, do not message. Now, the reason why we're doing it this way, opposed to archiving or completely deleting someone, is if we put them under do not message, they can still contact us through Project Broadcast. So we're going to choose do not message. From here, up at the top, these three dots, we're gonna click apply keyword. We're gonna click the tag button up here. And this is where Jake really wanted me to slow down and make sure you guys slow down too. You do not wanna put people in here that should not be in here, right? So we're gonna go and we're gonna find our tag. So here, got those three people that I just uploaded. So yes, add all three of these people. Okay, so now all three of these people will no longer receive messages from me. Now, one thing to keep in mind is if these people have other tags tied to them that you would normally send text to, they're still gonna show as receiving that text because that text is replied to them, but it is not going to go through because they have the do not message keyword applied to them. So if you have any questions, please let me know. I hope this helps and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.